So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Now, you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space keyboard diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up. Click on next. Wait for this to load. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. If that's still not working, you want to come back into CMD. Now you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up. The hardware and devices troubleshooter. Click on next. Wait for this to load. And then once this comes up, you want to click on enable. Wait for this to load. Again, if it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. For the next method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand keyboards. Now you want to find your keyboard. You want to right click on it. And then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for your device installed. Also, if your keyboard comes with a software like my one does, then you want to go to your software and then click on your keyboard. Now you want to go to settings. Make sure that through the software, you have your firmware up to date. If it's still not working, then you want to unplug your keyboard, restart your computer, and then plug it back in again. They shouldn't fix your problem. If not, then it might be broken. 